Hello, my name's Michael Keneally, and I teach a number of astrology courses in both Western and Vedic astrology. And this video is actually about visionary astrology. I've been teaching courses for 22 years, and I remember one of the very first books I studied was about um, mythic astrology, about the god energies that were associated with each planet. But now in my courses, I feel it can often be very helpful to see the planets as gods or goddesses. Now I'm not saying that's true for everyone because some people are more visual than others. But even for people who aren't visual, for people who can sense energies, it can still be useful to have a very concrete visual depiction of a planet for the person to pick up the energy that that planet radiates that affects all our lives. I actually came across this method when for five years I did a social anthropological field study. It was a university-based ethnography of spiritual forms new to the West, based mainly in Glastonbury in England. And the spiritual pathways I studied were Hinduism, Buddhism, Paganism, Shamanism, and Utopian community. And within Buddhism, I studied both Tibetan Buddhism and more Hinayana Buddhism. So Mahayana Buddhism within the Tibetan tradition and the more world-denying um, Hinayana Buddhism that is much more often Western received in the Western Buddhist orders. And the thing about Tibetan Buddhism is that they teach you to visualize a goddess or a god very, very clearly, very exactly, always surrounded by his and her pure land. The contents of the pure land are always very, very strictly defined. And this is called developing clear appearance. Once you have developed clear appearance of a god, you have much greater connection with the energy that is that god or goddess, that refraction of the great divine. And the same is true of a planet. And so in my courses I often suggest, and in the literature I hand out and the videos I hand out, that you can visualise a god or a goddess behind the planet, as indeed the ancients did, as the ancient Romans did, as the ancient Greeks did, as the ancient Babylonians did, as the great ancient Vedic sages did. And I do it in, at two levels, as it were, and I think it's important to do it at two levels. In the first place, I suggest you visualise the planet as a goddess or a god, as a pure refraction of the divine. And so you can seek to build up a vision picture, an energy reception of Mars as a god, of Jupiter, Guru, as a god, of Uranus as the great god of change, when change must happen, as Saturn, the Saturn, Saturn, the god of form and restriction, a necessary response to that. In other words, I suggest that you seek to develop a picture, just like the Vedic sage Parashara writes about, but more coming from within you, of the pure God form of each planet, which is a split off, a refraction of the divine. But there's a second string to this. You absolutely need to also visualize that God appearance, the clear appearance, the God energy, as he or she appears in your life. In other words, you see the God through filters, the sign the planet appears in your birth chart, the house 
the planet occupies in your birth chart and the aspects formed to the other planets. And so, you secondly need to build up a clear appearance of your destiny in relation to that planet, which might be quite skewed. It might well be your karma to receive a very difficult reception of each planet, or a very exalted one. Because our soul chooses our life scripts for us to work on this time. That is so easy to say and they are so hard to work with often. And sometimes a planet is very weak in our charts and sometimes a planet is very strong. And strong does not mean easy or good. It can be strong for great difficulty. Remember that. So in other words, you study with me. What does it mean to have <coughs> Jupiter in Sagittarius? What does it mean to have Jupiter in the sixth house? What does it mean to have Jupiter in trying to moon, etc? And there are some very sophisticated techniques in Vedic astrology, for example, for working out the effect each planet on your chart, in your chart, has on another planet. Very sophisticated scoring schemes. And I also teach Western psych psychodynamic astrology, and indeed I offer crossover, if the student wants it, between Western and Vedic astrology, and I can often fill in the gaps where that would be useful if the student just wants to study one. So in psychodynamic astrology, you study the strength of the planet in the sign or the house, and the chart aspect shapes, the aspects to that planet form the shapes. And there's a very sophisticated way of saying the sort of sub-personality that each chart aspect shape will be. So, for example, one particular shape that your planet might be caught up with, so you need to include in the visualisation of how that planet occurs in your chart, might be the psychic eye. Another, of course, might be the, the well-known T-square, where great tension builds up in the opposition and discharges into the apex planet. Another might be the surfer or the kite. Another might be the detective. There's a long list. So basically, in the course, you study each planet one after the other. You study interpretation techniques in between the planet studies with me. And the study is done with reference to your chart and my chart always, so it's authentic and genuine. And so, in addition to the pure, clear appearance that you create of each divine planet, you also develop clear appearance of that planet in your chart. That is so helpful. And the thing is, it's not limited and fatalistic. The next step is to say, OK, I perceive this. Do I need to change my relationship with that planet? Do I need to change my destiny? And if necessary, there are approaches to healing that can be added to the benefits of perception. If necessary, there can be approaches to stabilising the mind, to empowering. So have a look at my courses websites. The Western Astrology course is called www.enlightenedastrologycourse.com. The Foundation Vedic Astrology course is www.mastervedicastrology.com. They're wonderful, exceptional courses, very carefully taught. You know, I look forward to working with you. Thank you.